to start out by loading some additional components into your model. Select Insert, Load Family, go to Detail Items, Metals, Common Work, Metal Fastenings, select Anchor Bolts, Hook Side. If you get this message, do not overwrite existing versions. Select Cancel. Go back to Load Family. Select Detail Items. Select Wood and Plastic. Wood Framing. Nominal Cut Lumber Section. Hold down your control key and select 2x4, 2x6, and 2x8 and select OK. If you get this message, don't overwrite existing versions. Select Cancel. Go to your floor plan. Go to View. Select Section. Select this model line. Draw a line, a horizontal line to the left. This arrow determines your view depth. I don't want to see this window in my section view, so I'm going to pull this in tight so I won't see the window and I won't see this wall back here. In your project browser, scroll down and go to Section. Hit this plus sign and open it up. And here's the section I just created. Highlight it and right mouse button, rename. Call it wall section. Select wall section, double click on it to open it up. I'm going to change the scale. Select this area here. Set your scale to one half inch equals one foot. Changing the scale has the effect of changing the text size on your drawing. If you notice, the text size was reduced in size. For right now, I'm going to hide my crop region. I'm going to hide these reference planes. I'm going to select one of the reference planes. Come down here to this temporary hide isolate, the glasses icon. Hide category. I'm going to set my detail level to fine. And I'm going to set the graphic display option to realistic. I'm going to zoom in here. I'm going to go to Annotate. Select Component. In your Properties menu, find Nominal Cut Lumber Section 2x4. Select it. Tap your space bar to rotate the item, and then place it about there. Right mouse button cancel. Right mouse button cancel. Now select it and select align. And I'm going to align it to this top of plate. I'm going to select top of plate and then select the top of the lumber. Lock it. I'm going to hover over this area, select tab until I highlight the outside of the stud wall and then select this face and lock it. Highlight the lumber. Select Copy. Point to this midpoint on the top surface and then move down and point to the midpoint of the bottom surface to duplicate the part. 
This is my top of plate. I'm going to place my sole plate down here. Go back to annotate and to component. Tap the space bar to rotate it. Place it. Right mouse button cancel. Right mouse button cancel. Select it. Select a line. Point to this elevation the floor elevation, and then point to the bottom of the lumber, and lock it. Hover over this area, select Tab, until I select the outside of the stud wall, select it, and then select this surface, lock it. Go back to Annotate and select Component. In your Properties menu, select Anchor Bolt Hook Side 1 half inch. Place it approximately there in the center of the sole plate. Right mouse button Cancel. Right mouse button Cancel. Select it and nudge it down so that it's just resting on top of the sole plate. Grab this arrow grip and move it up so that the bottom of the anchor bolt is embedded in the concrete, and it should look like this. I'm going to insert some insulation in the wall. I'm going to select insulation and I'm going to select this midpoint on the lower face of the top of plate and then I'm going to just drag it down. And stop right about there. Right mouse button cancel. Right mouse button cancel. To adjust the length you can grab the insulation and grab this blue dot and move it up and down. It's placed where I want it. I'll leave it there. I'm going to adjust the location of my roof. I'm going to select my roof and then using my arrow keys I'm going to bring it down using my down arrow. Zoom in my roof will actually rest on the edge of this top of plate right there. In actual construction, this material would not be here. So I'm going to hide it. Go to Annotate. Create a region. I'm going to use Invisible Lines. Make sure that Invisible Lines is selected. I'm going to draw my region using the line tool. Let's select about here, come across, go up, and close my region there. And it should look like that. I'm going to draw a fascia board at the end of these rafter tails. I'm going to go to Annotate, select Detail Line, and I'm going to use my line tool. I'm going to start at this point because the fascia would actually cover the end of the sheathing. It would not go up to the asphalt shingles. It would start there and go down at the same angle. Right mouse button cancel. Start here at the bottom and just draw across about an inch. 
right mouse button cancel. Select pick lines and set the offset to three quarters of an inch, the thickness of a standard trim board, 0.75. And select this line just to the left of this line. Select Trim Extent, select this line and here, and trim those edges off. I'm going to label the parts of my section view. I'm going to select Annotate, Text, and select this item. I'm going to point Zoom in and point to my asphalt shingle. Select, come across, select. And I'm going to type in my text. Once I'm done entering my text, don't hit a carriage return, just point to an empty area. I'm going to zoom in and select the area between my plywood decking and my asphalt shingle. That's where my underlayment will be. I'm going to go up at about the same angle and align the bend at the same location. You'll see a dotted blue line come across and align the end of this line with the one above it. Select, and then type in your text. And once again, do not hit carriage return, just point to an empty area. I'm going to edit the size of this text. I want it to be about this size. I'm going to place my cursor here and draw a window around both of the texts to select both of them. I'm going to select this one, the 1 8 inch aerial. I'm going to continue labeling the remainder of my cross section. Going fast forward, I finished all my annotations and the roof portion should look like this. OC stands for on center, 18 inches on center. This roofing felt, this is 30 pound roofing felt. The wall should look like this. And the sole plate area should look like this. One last thing, I'm going to uh, show my crop region. Zoom out. And I'm going to adjust the size of my crop region. So that none of the text gets cropped out. Now I'm going to hide my crop region. I go down to my sheets, right mouse button, new sheet. Select this sheet with project lead the way in the title. I'm going to select it and I'm going to rename it. I'm going to change the name to wall section. I'm going to grab my wall section and I'm going to drag it onto the sheet. It should look like this. I'm going to go to my Revit menu. I'm going to print. 
select Adobe PDF, go to Properties, Layout, verify that you're in landscape mode, verify that your document, your PDF document will be stored in your Documents folder, go to Selected Sheets, and make sure there's a check next to the two sheets, the cover page and the wall section. Turn this radio button on, combine multiple selected views sheets into a single file. Select OK. Your PDF drawing should look like this. There should be two pages. If you go to page two, your wall section will be on page 2, and your cover page is on page 1. Go to your Canvas assignment and submit this drawing to complete your assignment.